In this next part of the tutorial, we'll create a window using the Create Window tool. Windows and doors are created using a similar technique as for the components, but with a couple of additional requirements. The first requirement is that the window or door must be created flat on the XY plane. And the second requirement is that you have certain required objects on two layers named Component Frame and Component Interior Trim. Beyond these, you can have as many other layers as you like. We begin by creating a new layer named Component Frame. And then we can create the objects for the frame on the XY plane using any of the standard modeling tools. Be sure that the frame object extends above and below the XY plane. This is necessary for the window to work properly in order to punch a hole through a wall. You can build the frame anywhere, but in this example I positioned the lower left corner of the frame at the 000 world origin because I decided to use this as my insert point for the window. Now let's create another layer and we'll name it Component interior trim and then on that layer we'll build some more objects that make up the back side of the window. These objects must be below the XY plane. Switch to a right side view to better illustrate that our component frame object extends through the XY plane and the component interior trim object is positioned below the XY plane. As a side note, let's take a brief look at why the objects on these two layers are critical for the window to work properly. Here we show the same sample window being placed into a slightly transparent wall of variable depth. When placing the window, the Place Window tool will look for the component frame layer to determine the shape of the opening to be cut into the wall. The opening is automatically determined by the XY cross section through the objects on this layer. This automatic cross section shape becomes the shape of the hole in the object when the window is placed. In addition, the objects on this layer are also stretched to match the depth of the wall. When placing the window, the Place Window tool will also look for the Component Interior Frame layer and automatically move these objects so they are flush with the back side of the wall. Now that we have a better understanding concerning the two critical layers, we can finish up the window by creating additional objects on other layers as desired. We are now ready to create a window component. Since the Window Component Preview icon is based on the active view when we save the window, switch to a top view. And then we will select all the parts with the Pick tool, and then select the Create Window tool. Now it's time to click on the origin. This origin point is the insertion point where you place the window on your object. Since we created our window using the 000 world origin as our base, just type in the values in the numeric input palette. So for X, I'll type in 0, hit the tab key, type in 0, hit the tab key, type in 0, and then hit the enter key. Now we'll type a name for the window, such as double hung window. Click the OK button and the new window is added to the project library in the components palette. And this is under the Window Door tab. We can now use the Place Window tool to place this window multiple times in our project. Observe that the insertion point is at the lower left corner of the window. To edit a window used in this project, select the desired item from the Project Library under the Window Door tab. Then either click the Open icon or right-click on the item and choose the Open option. And the window is opened in its own project window where we can make all the desired changes. For example, we'll delete the mullions on our window. And then after that we can save it. And we can close the file. And all the components placed in your project are automatically updated. 
A second method is to right-click on a component in your project and choose Edit Group. In the Edit Group mode, you will see only the components and any other instances of that component. Make the desired changes to your component, such as reshaping the side faces of the front of the frame outward. Then right-click again and choose Edit Group Complete and the changes will be propagated to all the other components. It should be noted that all the windows you place or create in your project are listed in the project library under the Window Door tab and are embedded inside the Bonsai 3D file. If we want to have access to a window in other projects, then we need to export the window into a custom library on your hard drive. Use the same procedure we used in the Components video tutorial with the only difference being that the file is saved in the Bonsai 3D window door library instead of the Bonsai 3D content library. We'll conclude this video by exporting our window to a custom library. First, create a new library by clicking on the New Component Library icon and type a name such as Matt's Windows. This creates a new empty library folder on your hard drive. Go back to the project library, select the desired window, then either click on the Export Window to Library icon or right click on the window and choose Export to Library. Type a different name for the exported component if desired. In our example, we'll use the same name. So next we'll choose the Matt's Windows library that we've just created. Then click the OK button, and the window is exported to a BNC file and placed in the Matt's Windows folder on your hard drive. You can now access the component from any Bonsai 3D file on this computer, and or you can move the library to another machine. It should be noted that these files are not saved in your Bonsai 3D application folder. The library folder and the BNZ file you just created are located in your custom Bonsai 3D window door folder, which is located in your user documents Bonsai 3D folder on your computer. And this concludes the Bonsai 3D Windows and Doors tutorial.